This is a JNR air ride system. And today we're gonna put this on a 2015 Street Glide. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to the garage, everybody. Today, I got my buddy Corey bringing his street glide over. And we're what we're gonna be doing to it is we're gonna be putting an air ride system on it. So for right now, I need to get that table cleaned off and get these Chevelle parts picked up. Let's get this garage clean before he shows up. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got my buddy Corey over here. We got his bike out here. I cleaned up about as best as I'm going to. Let's get this thing in. Let's get everything opened up, laid out, go through the instructions and see what the first step is. Okay, so as you guys can see, maybe you can't see, I don't know, I got everything laid out. We pretty much have the instructions right here. We have the compressor. This is our compressor mount plus the instructions. This is the actual uh, air switch. This is the switch, you know, you wanna lift it up, dump it, whatever. Got your airline fittings, your air hose. This is a dump valve. When you go to hit the switch and lay frame, this is gonna release all your air for you. We got the shocks over here. They were nice enough to give us some new shock mounts. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this instructions and uh, let's see how hard this is really gonna be. All right, so this is the dump valve that comes with the kit. And the directions tell you to put it right here uh, next to the ABS unit, something like that. But there are no mounts to hold this in place. So the hillbilly engineer in me have decided that I'm going to use some two-sided tape to stick it in there. So before I do that, though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean the surfaces really well so the two-sided tape will bond to it. So we get something to cut it with. Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, so I'm just gonna let you know that this red tape on the outside of it, it's two-sided tape, but 3M tells you to just kind of massage this tape in there to kind of activate that glue before you peel it off. I've been doing this for a while and I haven't had anything fall off yet, so I think they know what they're talking about. Give that a good rub around. Put it in there. You're gonna be able to get to that back. Uh, the wires, yeah, they're gonna the come. Wire, well, the, they come right here. The tube. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's your dump valve. So now, got the compressor in. We got the dump valve in. I got to get the switch in, the relay, and then we're gonna put the shocks in. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the relay in, right here. And according to the instructions, you just tuck it down into this hole and then you got to hook up your positive and negative to the battery. Now, in order to get to a battery on this motorcycle, we have to remove all of this here. So I'm going to start by pulling these covers out of the way to expose the battery. Please. 
the clip. I gotta get a clip puller. We'll just push these back in when we're ready for them, but we just go ahead and pull this module out of the way, and that's your battery, guys. So now, we're gonna look at the instructions, and we are going to wire everything together. Obviously, we have our positive, our negative. This goes to the dump valve. This is gonna go to the switch. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the switch in right now and then start tying everything together before we connect to the positive and negative battery and get the shocks on it. And then we'll run the airlines. It's gonna take these compressor wires, snake them in out of the way, run them up along the frame rail. I'll get some zip ties out and we'll zip tie this all up in here with these. Plug into these, obviously red to red, black to black. All right, so I pulled a big show, what can I say? I moved the camera over on this side of the bike. I was gonna show you how I routed the airline and got everything hooked up on this side. I just didn't record it, so I apologize. But if you do the exact same thing that you do on the side over there, okay? You got the air compressor aligned, you got a T, comes up, comes over here. That's it, that's all I did. So what we're gonna do right now is, uh, I'm gonna hit the switch, see if we can air this thing up. No, I'm not. I just, uh, I had a thought. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so listen, I was just explaining about the T and the compressor and everything, and I realized once I got the airline hooked up over here, the kit comes with two T's. And the reason why is because it's a single line out of the compressor that goes to the first T to the first air shock. Well, I messed up and ran from the, the, the first T from the first air shock to the second air shock, but there's a dump valve to release the air. And guess what that other T is for? So I'm gonna run over to the other side real quick and hook that up. I'll be right back. Okay, so it was an easy fix, all right? All I'm gonna do is this crossover, this, this uh, airline crosses over from one side to the other side right here underneath the seat. I'm gonna put the T here and then it splits off to the dump valve. Problem solved. I just need some snips. All right, let's hit the switch. Let's see what happens. Hopefully this back wheel, uh, well, goes down, up, lifts the bike up, goes down. We're about to find out. Please don't blow up. Whoa, look at that. I don't hear any leaks, so we're gonna get this down off of here. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Hold on. You just reach down here and you set her down. It's got a nice little stance to it. Hit the button. There we go, I feel it. 
See, for me, that actually feels pretty good. So if I don't like this ride height, I can... I'm gonna take this around the block, see how it feels. Dump it like it's hot. And that's JNR Air Ride. Alright, guys, there you have it. That is the JNR Air Ride system on a 2015 Street Glide. A couple things I want to go over with you. When you put the new shock mounts on, you want to torque those down to 40 foot pounds. And the most important thing of all is look at how this bike sits, okay? All right, when you let all the air out of the back of it, it sits really tall. It's going to want to sit straight up and down on the kickstand. Watch how you park it. It may fall over on you. But that bike right there looks sick. Let's get the bags on it and give you a completed view. Now we got this bike sitting the way it's supposed to. So, JNR air ride suspension i believe it was Corey. would you say you paid for this 399.99 399.99 check out their website i can tell you from a build quality standpoint it's actually pretty decent um came with everything you needed the instructions weren't all that clear because they were in each individual wrapper for each package of component but it still was a very well put together kit i want to catch up with Corey here in the next couple weeks and see what he thinks he rides oh sorry man he rides round trip to work how many miles a day 95 95 miles a day is what he spends on this motorcycle every day and i'm hey look at this guys look look see the bugs you see the juju the juice he's riding this bike okay so i'm gonna catch back up with Corey in a couple weeks and then we'll get his opinion down see what he's thinking from that point on until next time like, subscribe, see you next video.